Oh, we are doing something. <laughs> what are we doing? A craft. A craft. Good morning. Welcome to day 18, I want to say, of Vlogmas. Very exciting stuff. We are about to make what kind of craft? A Santa slime craft. A Santa slime craft. Let's show you. Look at that. How cool does that look? We're missing like half the ingredients and then we don't have felt to make the thing around the thing or the buttons, but you know what? We're gonna do what we, we're gonna do and we're gonna make it work. <laughs> All right, daddy's never made slime before. I know uh, it was a huge thing a few years ago. Mommy's made it with you a couple times, right? You've made slime with mommy? Yeah, okay, you're shaking your head, yes. Okay, so now we're gonna put it in there, about half, half of that, because it's six ounces and it calls for four, but we're gonna make a little bit less because we don't have enough of everything. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We're just gonna make it up as we go here. Oh, should we take the lid off? Okay, see, Daddy doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, that'll be faster. Okay, so put half the bottle in there. That's not even working. Hmm, need some help? Yeah, I need help. Okay. So can I pour it in? Yep, okay, glue is in, pour the water in. Nailed it. Wait, that's not even working. Yeah, it's working, you just gotta mix it. It'll just take a minute, I think, to get all, I mean, I'm just guessing, I don't really know. All right, stand by. All right, baking soda's in. Nice. All right, so now it says shaving cream. I think this is unscented. I don't think I have four cups though. Oh, this isn't. Oh, me. it's meant to be. Hold on, I gotta, uh, hold, I'll put it in a thing and foam it and then we'll do it. Okay, that is know what he's doing, but it's, we'll figure it out. Nice. <laughs> wow. We're gonna put it in. Now we're cooking. That's more like it. I haven't made this guy. We've made the kind of slime with the like contact solution, but not the kind with um, shaving cream, where it's a little bit fluffier. What's funny is Mr. Brady came over and he said, you're making slime, are you using shaving cream and contact solution? She's like, yep. That's awesome. <laughs> so this is the kind that Mr. Brady made. <laughs> down the middle, around the outside, down I the middle. I see the purple a little Ooh, bit. Oh, me too. You want to fold in the jeans. All right, food coloring. Maybe it'll actually end up being red. I didn't think it would. How many drops? Let's uh, do... Start with four, because you are four, and then we'll go from there. One, two, three, four. Nice. Awesome. Do you want to start first? Yeah. Okay. This is the best part. At least it is when you're making cake, so I'm assuming it's the same. <laughs> Certainly the most fun to watch. Ooh. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. I don't know, right take Santa Claus. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome. Woo wow. <laughs> All right, we keep adding red and keep adding red, and it's just more of a pink, but that's okay. Are you cool with pink? Yeah, I Ooh, that looks, uh, I think that looks like red. It looks like it's a, a reddish pink. Yeah. Looks like the colors of your wall in your room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last step, put some contact solution in. All right, go ahead. Contact solution in. Wow. Mix it in. Will you help me? Yeah. Well, Tyler's resorted to using his hands. It's a craft person's best tools. <laughs> it's true. And I mean, I think it's working. We keep adding a little more contact solution. I Someone is watching this and they're a slime connoisseur and they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't know what we're it's doing. Like kind of, it was like really sick in my hands. Now it's starting to come off. I think at this point too, like once it's good, you'll just have to get the rest off your hands because yeah. some of that's the old we slime. We added that's... way more context. Oh, a lot more is coming off. So it's, I think we're. I think it's done. I'm going to start my ASMR channel next. Right. There we go. All right. I think that's good. Maybe another drip drop of the yeah. contact solution. But we added like more. twice the amount that they said. But yeah, it's coming off. Now. Oh, yeah. Genevieve, what did you ask me to get? Those, those little fellas. Your little fellas? Oh no, I got your mama's job. Oh no. She loves these little figurines. We have, I mean, she just loves little figurines in general, like the little Disney ones, or like these are little finger puppets she just got the other day that are Christmassy, but she calls all of her little tiny figurines her little fellas. <laughs> Okay, we are headed to see a concert right now. We just dropped off the girls at a family member, family member's house. Um, but, uh, so we're gonna go see this guy. I'm gonna talk about it for just a minute. I, I could dedicate an entire 30 minute video to this guy, but I'll keep it brief, I promise. So we're gonna see uh, a guy named John McLaughlin, who is one of my all time favorite singer, songwriter, musicians ever, 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 ever. The, the order would go 
Elton John and Garth Brooks in first place, tied for first. Um, I know they're so vastly different, but they, as far as like singer songwriters, whatever, they're my favorite. They go back to like childhood. Then John McLaughlin, then like Billy Joel and others below that. So that should tell you how highly I, I think about this guy. And uh, he's actually from Indiana, but he is so, 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 so freaking good. I I just, I always say that everybody needs to, to hear his music and it, it's just so good. Like nobody can play like John McLaughlin can. And he's, he's got an awesome voice and all that. Um, and I feel like, uh, you ready to go? I'm ready. I, uh, we have a lot of uh, interesting stories about him. Hold on, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. I also would like to say hi. I feel like I have not actually, I don't think I have been on camera yet today. Um, just like a mad dash scramble to like get everyone ready once it was finally time. We both needed to shower, which that, see, this is why we shower at night. It is so times, much easier. Yeah. yeah, it's so much easier when the kids are already asleep for us to trade off shower versus during the day when everyone's already up. It's like, okay, uh, and it's just, it's a whole thing. I prefer to shower in the morning, but yeah. it just makes more sense a lot of times to shower at night. I, I would agree with that, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell the quick version of the story. So I first heard about John McLaughlin. I went to go see a guy named Paolo Nutini with my brother, Jason. Uh, this was like 2008 or whatever. And John McLaughlin opened for him. And I remember, I will never forget, he came out and played the song Industry, which is the first song on his first album. Um, the album's called Indiana. And I remember Jason and I looking at each other and being like, this guy is insane. Like, we have to go buy this guy's album. Like, I think Jason literally said, well, there's another album we have to buy as soon as we leave here. Because it was so, like, just, it was so good. Um, well, back in the days when you bought albums. <laughs> I know, I know, right? <laughs> um, so then I listened to Indiana a thousand times over. That was the first album. And then he's come out with so many good albums. We just saw him perform promising promises which was his third album Promising, I think. that is I'm gonna, my favorite i'm gonna link a few videos below i'm telling you guys okay so if you know billy joel if you know how prelude starts that right okay when you see billy joel do that he does the i know it sounded exactly like it when he does it he does it with two hands like it's like slap piano john mclaughlin pay, plays something like that in the song promising promises with one hand i don't even know how he does it he's insane but it's so good but like he uh one of our wedding songs was I'll Follow You. That was yeah, I literally McLaughlin. can't listen to it. I feel like we vlogged all this before when we saw him last. Well, either I don't way. I we were vlogging at the time. Maybe, maybe it was on your channel, maybe. I don't know. Because I feel like we've literally shared all of this. Maybe not. Well, but, yeah, I cannot listen to that song, I Will Follow You, anymore because I just stopped. Which, in so a good, good way. I it's literally so can't listen good. to it. Um, but anyway, so like I said, he's an Indiana native, and I feel like our paths have crossed like 25 times, but I've never actually met him, which I don't actually want to because I have him on such a high pedestal <laughs> that I there's no way I could ever actually meet him. But it's funny because he's performing today with a woman <laughs> and I was in a commercial this is like what 2019 and we played these two pilgrim people and it was like the <laughs> it was like so it was the weirdest like experience because we filmed filmed this commercial and we filmed like eight commercials in a row and the, it was the idea was that like a guy who played Santa was there a guy who played uh, Uncle Sam was there then uh, she and I were these pilgrims and we would come in and be like the girl performing not me. the girl performing yeah, yeah. We would come in and be like, he'd be like, oh, here at Johnson Plumbing, we're open 365 days a year. And then Santa would come in and say, well, not on my day. I'd be like, yep, even on your day, Santa. And then we came in and be like, well, not on our day. And it was like, yeah, even on Thanksgiving. So that was, <laughs> the, but it was so funny because the guy would, who was the tech, would leave and come back with a different polo shirt. And then he'd be like, here at Anderson Heating and Cooling, we're open 365 days a year. Listen, this is genius. So we, yeah. This is genius. Oh my gosh. So I have a, I have a picture of us in our costumes when we were filming that commercial. Um, but I filmed that commercial with her, and we, I think, got, we were Facebook friends. Years later, I found out that she was well, John McLaughlin's sister-in-law. Well, this was 2019, that would be now, is years later. That's what I'm saying. It was a I feel like it was, it was not... like 27, like I feel like it was a while ago that you did that. Either way, it doesn't matter. I don't, it doesn't matter. I think Gigi was already born though, so it had to have been after that. I but I honestly, yeah. it does not matter for the story. My point is that a very, very long time went by, and then I saw that she was, she had a concert, and she was performing with John McLaughlin, and then I figured out that she was John McLaughlin's sister-in-law. <laughs> So like that, Small our paths crossed there. World. I was in a show with a guy a few years ago and he uh, he like grew up with him in Anderson, Indiana and like they performed together all the time. He was in a band called The Last Fight or The Last Good Year. So like I've crossed paths with this guy like a thousand times. Also John McLaughlin sings So Close and Enchanted. So That's probably close. how most people will know who he is. Oh, he's uh, so good. So, and he's in the movie too. He's the one standing there singing. 
That's uh, right. Or if you're oh, we in, need to rewatch that. I wonder if he's. We haven't seen Disenchanted. I wonder no, if he. No, we haven't. <laughs> but he's in uh, uh, World of Color at Disneyland too. That's 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 John Lovett singing. Anyway, he's like my favorite person of all time. Uh, I never ever want to meet him because I will lose my mind. Um, but you bought us front row, front row if seats, you will, front yeah, table but seats. We'll like, dark. He's gonna he's gonna wink at you. He's gonna be in like, the dark in the back. He's also hilarious and he's not bad on the eyes either. So he's just the coolest person in the world. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> So we are en route to um, the show, if you will. I, they got, I mean, I know they have food there. They're offering it today, right? Because mm -hmm. I am yeah. definitely hungry. I'm, I, we, it's a long story. We were going to be going to something right after this, um, but time-wise, it's just not going to work, and we were going to eat at that. So now I'm like, well, now I'm like legitimately hungry. So hopefully get some appetizers or something. And yeah, we're meeting our friends Laura and her friend, or her, her sister. sister Allison, our friend too. I mean, we just know Laura better. But anyway. <laughs> This is coming out weird. We're meeting them, and they happen to also like really like John McLaughlin, so it's kind of fun because, again, I feel like he is kind of a household name, but he's absolutely not. But he's so good, and he should be. So anyway, so good. Um, this episode sponsored by. John uh, but yeah, we it's it's at this place called the Jazz Kitchen, which is like a uh, it's in Broad Ripple. And here it's in my favorite. It is just place his favorite place. They the always world. have such good music such good music and you can get like a nice cocktail if you want the and like food is good. yeah and we've gone to like really jazzy like standards like ella fitzgerald type nights those are my personal favorite um it's it's just fun they and have the always are different stuff always so good even yeah. if you don't know who they are it doesn't matter you can pick a random thursday night and go see a show and it's gonna be amazing yeah so if you live anywhere in the central indiana area and you have not been to the jazz kitchen might i suggest it usually i think you need reservations so definitely yeah. like look on their site but anyway so we're here, y'all. When he said front row, it is literally. Let me show you how close. Space. It is so <laughs> intimate. Here I am. Here's the stage. This is amazing. Also, we can totally see their uh, set list, which is just fun. Very Christmassy. Very exciting. Yay! And I think I'm gonna order some. Taquitos, and those sound good. And then I ordered some of the crab cakes. Get the crab cakes, you know, I love the crab cakes. There you go. They did say there's like a fifteen dollar minimum, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the crab cake. Ooh, you know that dip is good. It smells. Does it? And then so, here's my taquitos. Nom. It was so fast too. I feel bad. Our our literally in our companions minutes. aren't even here yet, and I was like, oh, I guess we already have them. <laughs> We are fully aware it's rude to like eat before like whoever's here, but I think they there's like a time where they like cut you off and you can't order food, so we're like we just wanted to make sure we got our order. So we did. I know you guys were very concerned. Well, <laughs> lucky who it is. Our lovely guests, Laura and her sister Allison, have joined us. We were talking about it in the car, so they already know you were going to be here. But yeah, look at Laura. She's literally like, what, eight inches from the, the, the music stand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you reach out and touch her. He touched his knee. <laughs> Uh, that was so much fun. Oh, I loved it. It was so good. It was crazy being that close, but it was so, so cool. Would totally go again. I think we should make it a tradition. I mean, honestly, Maybe. everyone on that stage, the, the bassist, the drummer, the guitar player, also, I think they were all related. I think um, all the <laughs> one the were in some way related, which was just cool. Oh, man, I love good Town musicians. family. We're they talking were talking about it. so, so good. Yeah. It Unbelievable. Was, you could have stared at anyone on that stage and just enjoyed the entire concert just from that just instrument awesome. or whatever. Awesome. So we're going to get the girls, because I don't know if we said, but my niece was watching them, which was so cool. Uh, it's crazy that I have nieces. I mean, I have grown nieces and nephews that have kids of their own, but it's still just wild because I know a lot of people would hear niece and nephew and be like, oh yeah, like a kid. I'm like, no, no. And also we were talking almost about... a grown adult, which is insane. Because well, when you came around, I she was- we're at that point in our lives school. now where oh. like I'm the uncle and I've just kind of always been there. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like- Yeah, because you were around kid, probably as far back as she can yeah. remember. When I was a kid, my uncles were just always my uncles. They were always around. But then I look back, I'm like, oh yeah, I guess at some point they had to get married. They you were, know? yeah, they and married into the family. When I was a kid, or... 
but I don't remember it. And now I'm like, yeah, they were just always my uncle. I'm, I'm now that guy. I've just always been around. <laughs> oh, that's so true. So that is just cool. So anyway, so we're going to go pick up the girls and go home. I want to make some Thin Mints. <laughs> the noise. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was so loud. I didn't expect it to be that loud. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are home. We are in comps. Baby's in the bath. Felicity, or no oh boy. Gigi's here with me. We're gonna make cookies here in a sec. It is a half calf kind of early evening, you know? I'm getting crazy here. Let's see. We don't want decaf. Oh no, where's my half calf? Oh no. Oh, here we go. It's like, didn't I? So yeah, this is this is happening. Yes, please. Also, in case you were curious, I'm still loving our little coffee bar. Absolutely, absolutely loving it. Half calf. If I do Whoa. two half calves, does that mean I've done a whole calf? You've done one whole calf. <laughs> All right, so it, it is, is time. time. Guys, this for me is like the holiday cookie, which is great because it's super easy. <laughs> so we mentioned it yesterday, how easy it is. All you need- It's a tradition. We've done this every year. It is now a tradition. Well, and I grew up like my mom, we always made these. So for me, it's always been a tradition, but you take this kind of chocolate. Now here's the thing. We've tried like the bougier, nice, chocolate that's like melting chocolate but it's a little nicer we finally decided was it last year yeah we did kind of a taste test between two and it's just better with this weird candy quick stuff. but still the dark chocolate version of it yes we like dark i mean i like all this chocolate please i would do but anyway so even though it's like not like legit chocolate y'all i'm telling you it makes them better i don't know what it is so anyway so they literally give you a tray that it comes in yeah we're doing cookies right now yeah i'm, I'm teaching how to do it real fast Ma'am. Can you teach how to do it? No. <laughs> I, I do, but I want to see it. Okay. Oh, okay. So anyway, you melt these, it tells you how, but the nice thing is it comes with the tray. So you can dip right in the tray once mm -hmm. it's melted and you can just throw it away, which is great because this candy chocolate coating is not super fun to clean out of dishes. Anyway, all you need is Ritz crackers or the off brand. I don't think for that it matters what brand you have. I don't know. I think the Ritz brand makes a difference well, for me Well, when I'm personally. eating a Nakey, I love Ritz, like the brand brand, but yeah. So chaos in this house guys we've tried to film this like 16 times okay so we realized we have peppermint extract mint extract and peppermint oil the mint extract is very wrong i think we made a batch with this and it was like spearmint and it is not it is not right like you said we were smelling we're like wait which one was which this one smells like delicious but it smells like spearmint not what you want so don't get mint extract you want peppermint so you can do the peppermint extract or the peppermint oil, you need way less if you get the oil, you need a little more with the extract. We always just like put a little bit and taste it and kind of like get a vibe check because if you go overboard, you go overboard. So anyway, that is, that's it. You just make this, you mix the oil in it and then you just dip these in it and it makes Thin Mints, you guys. Mm. They taste so good. So good. So the other thing we'll probably not get to tonight is uh, making like tagalongs, like the Girl Scout cookie, obviously there's a trend here, where you just take Ritz, put peanut butter on top, dip them in ch same chocolate, not with mint, cause that's disgusting. It's like brushing your teeth and then drinking orange <laughs> juice. Anyway, uh, dip those same chocolate and let them dry on parchment paper, just like yeah. this. You can 10 also out of dip. 10. I might like those even better. You can also dip pretzels in it. And also some people yeah, have like said- Yeah, like make mint pretzels. And some people have said you can, uh, instead of doing the peppermint oil, mm -hmm. they'll just melt Andy's mints. We've not tried that. But if we you've tried, tried it, let us know because I was tempted this year to buy them. I'm like, no, I just want to. So let me know if you've done it. Is it really good? Let me know. Santa Clauses. Okay. So first of all, you guys know how much I love these, my little thingies. Um, we need wax paper. No. <laughs> Here's hoping I can actually. Oh, <laughs> that was so Swing unsatisfying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, anyway, this is what they're going to dry on. Uh, should I set up a time lapse? It's so satisfying to watch in a time lapse. Yes. Let's all right, do I'll it. do it. <laughs> You have to be very careful when you're heating this up because if you go too far, it'll harden again. So you have to, that's why I'm like taking it in and out. Ah, uh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so it's peppermint fickle. oil, this is the stuff that you don't need a lot of. So we're going to count because I never know what to tell people. So one, two, three, oh, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to count this. And again, you can always seven, add. Seven. Yes. In this instance, you what? can add, but you can't subtract. So we're mixing it in. Dash, dash, to make it. Taste. I hope that wasn't too much. I don't think it was. But at least we'll have a ballpark number to give you guys. But again, if you get the, hold on, babe. If you I get can. the, okay, you try. It's definitely gonna spill the sprinkles over. Anyway, oh, you can smell it. It smells perfect. I think I wouldn't touch a thing. Yeah, I mean, I'll taste it with like a little spoon. We'll see. But 
Yeah, I'm thinking that might be. Oh, what I was gonna say is, if you get the extract, I want to reiterate this. If you get the extract, you will need more. If you get the true peppermint oil, you need less. So just because yeah, this mind. is what and this more is what bones. your mom uses, right? She got this yeah, for you. Yeah, she got this for us. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I smell peppermint. Yeah. Needs more. Actually, really? yeah, for real. All right, so this is good. Pinocchio, there's no food for so you. So around ten, and then taste. Keep tasting. Oh. Yeah, I would say. Some other good things to know. Uh, one, I got peppermint oil on my finger and I keep, I, I just licked my finger. I'm like, ah, ah, so I need to A, wash my hands again, but B, it burns. So just be aware of that. Anyway, um, we've also realized basically one sleeve of the Ritz crackers is like, that is about how much you will use for one of the little trays of chocolate. So if you're like thinking through how many you're wanting to make or whatever, that's good to know. We need to, I think, do you want to, can we create like a recipe to put on your site now that we actually have some numbers that I could need work? A picture, though. So we got I can, a I can make, I can make some. I don't know. Pretty. Gigi's are beautiful. Have you guys seen her cookies yet? Oh yeah, girl. Look at that. Was it good? Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> good. Side note, if you are at Target and you see this, especially now, like if it's on clearance after Christmas, buy it. <laughs> this has been, we have used this for so many different things already just this season and it'll last obviously a few years, but especially if you have kids that like to decorate, but yeah, it's just such a good mix of sprinkles. And if you can save some money on it, why not? And again, I feel like sprinkles last forever. So it's pretty cool. All right, here's a shot of them finished. <laughs> we made basically two sleeves. We ate some. The other thing is over here, we have, we took some pictures with this for uh, the recipe, like I said, or have I said it yet? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, they, these are our nicest looking ones, you know, <laughs> these, get, these are the photogenic ones. We meet again i feel like all i can smell is mint at this point i think it's all we in your hands a yeah lot. i've washed my hands like 16 times <laughs> um we ate a lot of those cookies in the process also little tip <laughs> if you're making them at the end like a lot of times you'll be left with like some chocolate that you're like it's a little too hard at that point like it's dried and um there's not enough to like coat a cookie so we usually take some Ritz crackers and just dip it in there and mm -hmm. eat it. I took a fork and I was like scraping it off yeah, and then just did. placing seen... it. I didn't either, but I was like, it's such a waste. Cause I once know. you get to the, to the bottom of it, it's you like. You can't reheat it like you yeah. think and keep melting it. It doesn't work that so way. So I was like, I'll just scrape it off and just plop it on top of a cracker. You and sure did. It was good. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Nary a bit of chocolate went to waste. <laughs> that's true. Also, we, we will, we got some good pictures of them. So we will do, we'll have a PDF recipe if you want to print one mm -hmm. out for yourself with yes. the actual numbers ish and yeah that way you can have it each year because because we always feel like you make it once you make it every year yeah it's just well and we always show how to make it but it's so it's easy and so we just have it yeah awesome <sighs> well i'm ready to go to bed me too so make some i have nothing exciting tea. to talk about tonight yeah i feel like my brain is fried it was a good day mm -hmm. We're tired. It was one of those days, too, where we went to a concert in the middle of the day, so, like, it feels like a kind very odd... odd... Yeah. It was really fun, though. And then we learned later, too, that that concert was, like, added on. Oh, did we? Later. I didn't hear that. Oh, he might have been in the bathroom when he said it. He said this concert was added on, like, this, the 4 p.m. one we went to. No So I wonder if it, it all sold out, and it, this too. was sold out, undoubtedly, too. Maybe they'll do more next year. Well, it sounds like they do it every year. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, add more performances. Mm -hmm. So, Awesome. All right, well, then we will see you guys tomorrow. I still have more work on my secret project. Did I? Did we talk about this? You secret? didn't. I was just watching yesterday's. You didn't I don't show think... anything about it? All right. I did will, you uh, divulge? I don't think I did. I'll talk more about my secret project later. Mm. We'll, we'll Very talk exciting. About it. <laughs> um, I feel like I have one more thing to say. Oh, tomorrow, I'm going to brunch with my girlfriends again. I'm realizing, did I vlog about that or was it in a different You went video? to lunch with just Emily, I think. Okay. Or dinner. Yes. Well, because I was trying to... Th anyway, I'm going to brunch with my girlfriends. But um, after that, I'm going to the store to do some Christmas shopping for some people in my life. That just like some last minute things that I, I know I want to get. And also just like... You Bananas, know, milk. Yeah, like literally <laughs> milk, eggs, and fabric softener. <laughs> um, we also like genuinely need to 
figure out what we want to make for dinner the next few nights so I can get those ingredients because I feel like we've just been like floating by. I cannot believe. And now we like actually need to have like dinner ideas. I know. Because again, we have, we've been, I'm, I'm telling you, we do not normally eat like this, but we've been like ordering in and doing like, we normally make dinner, but we just have been I so, feel like everyone knows been, this time of year. It's, it's just, just so weird. crazy. And yeah, but I do feel like neither of us have really like cook cooked Oh. In a while, like especially in Vlogmas, I almost feel bad for those that care about that content. I also but need to, speaking of that, crazy. even the couple days leading up to Chicago, totally got out of the habit of the the oh, workout stuff. Out. So I've got to I thought tomorrow. We just weren't gonna bring it up again. We're like, <laughs> no, yeah, tomorrow I'm getting back into it. I took a week off. Yeah, didn't get very far in that. Yeah, but I uh, need you too. tomorrow, and, and you know what's funny, up. and I talk about this a lot. Like, yeah, I, I know what feel... you're gonna say already. <laughs> Don't you just feel when you haven't been doing like stuff that's good for you, like when you haven't been eating well or drinking enough water or doing something active, my body feels awful inside. Yeah. Like you just feel the difference. And then when I've done a few days, like where I'm back into it and I'm like going on walks or working out and like drinking more water and maybe making slightly better food decisions, <laughs> I feel better. I feel yeah. more energized. Like it really is. That's not at all what I thought you were going to say. I oh. thought you were going to say that we are both really bad. About like if we if we don't do something perfectly, oh we just don't even pick it back up. But I'm like, just because we took the week off being in Chicago and everything, which really was not a big a good excuse. The place had a workout room. We just didn't it really use it. did. At no but, point did we enter that. I even brought a workout outfit. And I did too. Shoes. Yep. I brought. I was like, maybe I'll go on a run. We had, we had good intentions. But my point is that a lot of times if we don't do it, we're like, well, it's not perfect. Let's just not even do it. So just because we took the week off does not mean that we're going to not mm -hmm. keep doing it. We're going to pick it back up tomorrow, right. and then we're going to be so on. If you've track also for the rest fallen of off the wagon with us with the workout thing doesn't mean you have you to stop. Could, you've got to hop right back on with us. Um, yeah, you're right. There's some really good dance workouts I saw on YouTube that got released while I haven't been working yeah. out, so I need to, nice. gonna have to catch up. Awesome. All right. Well, then we will see you guys tomorrow. Lots of cool stuff to talk about and things to do and people to see and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm excited. All right. All right. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.